to be honest. Chief Meteorologist Andy Anderson standing by. It was like there was water everywhere today for us to deal with. Hi, Andy. Oh, it really was. Brad's River's been doing quite well as far as rain is concerned. We saw that downriver. Same thing with the Colorado as well. As the water starts running downstream, we're starting to see a lot of flooding problems once again down along the Texas Gulf Coast. Tonight's problem here is probably going to be fog. Live look from our standard insurance agency, Sky Live Weather Camera, downtown Temple, and visibilities look like they may be a little bit reduced already. This time lapse of our Doppler net radar, and this is all ground returns coming back. Uh, we're set on the high frequency trying to pick up whatever moisture might be there in the atmosphere, the clear air mode. We are seeing rain in West Texas and into New Mexico trying to make its way onto the cap rock there. There's the threat of flooding in deep northeast Texas, the Arklatex area, but the rain activity there has begun to taper off a little bit. So it's a better looking weather picture, at least temporarily for us. The rain's coming back for us looks like beginning tomorrow evening, certainly on Friday and Saturday. Now 65 in Waco, 66 in Temple and Colleen, 64 in Gatesville. Marlin reporting 66. Cameron is at 72 degrees right now, while it's 66 out in Lampasas and 69 in Burnett. Rainfall totals today were very generous, as we said, better than an inch in most locations. We had two rounds come through this morning and into the early afternoon. An inch and seven tenths in Robinson in the Waco area are thanks to Randy Vassar for his report. And Kempner, Don West, reporting an inch and a half of rain. Check this out. Northern Bosque County last night this morning, three inches of rain at Nancy Marin's house. Right now, we've got a partly cloudy to clear sky. 65 is our air temperature, 93% relative humidity. Still dealing with the wind out of the east and southeast around five miles an hour. That southerly breeze is going to keep things moist for us. We're going to go with a partly cloudy sky tonight. Patchy fog developing and the overnight low tonight down to about 67 degrees. Not a whole lot of cool down on the way for us because we're close to that already. Mostly cloudy skies much of the day tomorrow. Showers are back in the forecast for us late in the day. We should make 82 tomorrow afternoon for a high with a little bit of sunshine. Front comes through. The winds go around to the north 10 to 15 miles an hour. Overrunning starts. We'll go with 20% chance of a late afternoon shower, 30% chance of rain showers into the evening hours, and then we ramp it way up for the weekend. 60-70% chances of rain on Friday and Saturday. Severe weather threat? Pretty much nothing. We don't see a big severe weather threat with this stuff coming up tomorrow or into Friday, Saturday, but we'll be watching that closely. Front tries to make its way through here, gets on down to the coast. Our winds go around to the north, 10 to 15 miles an hour. It feels a little drier, but uh, dry air heats up to 82 tomorrow. There's your Channel 6 seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. Uh, 67 the morning low, 82 the afternoon high. We start putting rain back into the forecast for us tomorrow evening. We really ramp it up and talk about the possibility of heavy rain once again Friday. Better than an inch of rain is what is suggested by the computer models. Mm. Almost two inches of rain suggested by the models by Saturday's evening. Oof. Sunday looks pretty good. That's Mother's Day. We kind of saved the good stuff for mom and then put rain back in the forecast for us for the work week next week. We really need to dry out tomorrow, Andy, but if we do, here comes the